I don't think I'm really asking for much. All I need is a penthouse apartment with a wraparound terrace overlooking the Hudson River. I mean, basics. Bare minimum is what I think. <laughs> Before I pack for New York, which I'm going to do tomorrow, I need to quickly get a new suitcase. I'm going to return my replacement Remo suitcase for a new one. That's why I really love to buy Remo suitcases, is that you can always replace it, get it repaired if it gets damaged. Looks very cool and it matches my suitcase perfectly. So now heading to the airport, got a one and a half hour journey to the airport, then it's a six hour flight. I got the chocolate croissants from Cedric Roulet, which are amazing. I think they're better than the original croissants. I also got this strawberry cake. I wanted to get their signature flower cake, but they don't come out till 12 o'clock. So I think this one is going to go down a treat. Thank you so much. The important goodies. On my way now to the airport. So I wanted to show you my look. I'm wearing my new Birkin bag, my Loewisch little tank top, some Zara pants, and my white Sherpa and my sandals. Good morning, here in New York, first morning. I need to put some makeup on realized it's uh, revealing. When I wake up in the morning, first thing I love to do is have some coffee. Phuket's where I'm staying. I have to say this hotel is amazing. I love it. Love, love, love it. When I was leaving the hotel for dinner last night, it was really happening. And obviously it's fashion week here, so there's like photo shoots going over in one corner, all these glamorous girls, tall, skinny walking around. Dinner was amazing last night. First I went with friends to this bar called Shinji and we had these amazing cocktails. And then we went to Monkey Bar. I booked this restaurant a couple of days ago because everyone said it like the place. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. and I went to bed around 12. But what I do is as soon as I arrive, I get on the program. And that helps with my sleep. Just gonna put a tiny bit of powder on. I don't really like to wear powder to the gym, but otherwise I'm looking very oily. Now to get into my gym kit. I might have some chocolate around my mouth. <laughs> I was eating the chocolate shoe that they gave me here. Also doing a little bit of work on my computer right now. I am transferring files and I wanted to get the outside little balcony ready. We've got this beautiful terrace and I want to sit under the parasol with my laptop and do some emails. So already had a very active morning. Started off with a workout. They have a dog pound gym downstairs. Dog pound originated in New York. It was where all the models used to do their workouts. And right now I'm gonna go get ready, spruce up the makeup. So let's do that. So in my last video, some of you guys asked me to talk about my favorite products. So that's what I wanna do. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm doing like a little bit here. This gives just the most beautiful glow to the skin. I really cannot go without this step. Say, so I like to use my tinted moisturizer for the day. I don't need a really thick, heavy coverage. It also doesn't make me feel very good when I have like heavy foundation on. I can do foundation in the evening, but during the day, I just want something light. This one from NARS is really beautiful, I think. Gives a little bit of color, minimal coverage. Then I use my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder just to set the base. I have this amazing brush by Hourglass Double Wand, I call it, <laughs> the Double Wand. Try to be very light with powder, otherwise it goes into the creases and it shows your lines. We don't want that. 
Then on the other side, my new favorite palette from Charlotte Tilbury, this gorgeous bronzer. I have to say, I am so happy that I am not doing Fashion Week here. So much work goes into that and so much stress as well. I'm just so relieved not to be involved. And this year, I have really actively decided that I don't want, it's not just Fashion Weeks, but in general, I don't want to say yes to anything that doesn't give me joy, doesn't serve me. Um, a friend of mine invited me to a show for London Fashion Week. Now, it was really sweet of her to invite me, but I just don't want to go. And my friend was like, but Emma, you still love going to this. This is like, why not? And I'm, I may in the future change my mind, but at this present stage in my life, it just really doesn't benefit me. And I don't enjoy it. I, I think uh, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm really over it. My contour palette, my Chateau Brie. Often you're waiting around for a really long time before the show starts, or either that, or you're stressed running around trying to get there in time for the show so you're not late. Here's my little highlighter wand. Um, so yeah, I just, in, you know, nowadays just being very selective about what I put my time into. But yeah, getting used to saying no to things. Doesn't mean I'm not going to produce fire content <laughs> and great outfits. By the way, I'm using my Pillow Talk lip liner. What I noticed about New Yorkers is they're all very, very busy. And, you know, even to get a dinner with someone is like, oh, it's a bit of a commitment. <laughs> that sounds strange, like I have my own dinner commitments. I'm not lonely and looking for someone, but I meant that I noticed in dating culture, let's put it like that, they like have four dates in one evening. One, ha they're meeting for coffee. One is for a drink. Then it's another cocktail. Then it's a dinner. Then it's an after drinks, after dinner. Like you can, everyone's. If a guy is inviting me out for a drink, just a drink, that's like that. That was a move I used to play because I would think like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get on with this guy. But if I'm already doing that, then it's already a no. Let's be honest. I think it's also like for me a big turn off when someone is working all the time and mm, they have like business dinners and they can see you only after or before. Someone's that busy that they can only meet you for drinks. It's safe to say that they're gonna continue being very busy. That was my Pillow Talk mascara, which I love. Here, this is my Chanel brow pencil. I really love my eyebrows now. I've had them tinted. It makes such a difference. I was looking back at a video and I was like, my eyebrows look orange. <laughs> I go to an amazing place in London called Brow, Brow Feek, it's called. And they just do an amazing job. The lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. Mm -hmm. And I wanna line my lid and then smoke it out a little bit. Hailey Bieber has been promoting her road lip gloss, like the glossy look for the lips is really in. Okay, one last thing I want to show you as well, very important, is this beautiful supermodel body glow, which I love to put on my body, especially if I'm showing my decolate. So this is my makeup look, the slicked back bun, a little bit soft on the eyelids with some eyeshadow and some brow pencil, a little bit of bronze and then the gloss and then my little supermodel glow on the neck. So I'm about to get ready now guys, let's get changed. This is my look, I want to show you how I styled up my skirt that I'm loving. Uh, this is a green skin jacket and a raincoat, which is perfect for New York because it's been raining a little bit. Got my Celine glasses and my Loewe tank top, my Courageous skirt and my little Chanel loafers. How do you like my beautiful balcony here in New York? I could really get used to this. <laughs> I don't think I'm really asking for much. All I need is a penthouse apartment with a wraparound terrace 
overlooking the Hudson River. Enough space to put a beautiful parasol, some chairs, a sofa, then to have like a large dining table, you know, and direct view. I mean, basics is what I think. 